Hey, it's Captain Matt, Voter Secret Weapon. I want to talk about winterizing your outboard. One of the questions that you see all the time asked in the forums uh, here at West Marine, they tell me they get asked this question a bunch is, hey, I've got this outboard and I want to winterize it, but what do I need to do? And can I reuse the boat if it warms up a little bit, maybe running the Christmas parade? And the answer is, yes, you need to winterize it, but it's much easier than with a stern drive or an inboard. The winterization process is really about getting the water out of the engine so it doesn't freeze. Now, there's another step that I like to add, which is getting your boat ready to sit for extended periods of time because you likely won't be using it as often as you would in the spring and the summertime. So what you want to do is you want to follow your manufacturer's recommendations on draining the water out of your system. For several of them, that requires you to take the engine in the down position, tilt it all the way up, and then all the way back down. And what you're doing is you're making sure any water that's anywhere in those tubes, uh, in your hoses, and the system is getting to the lowest point and getting drained, getting drained out so there's no water to freeze and to expand and to cause damage. That's the easy part. The next step is you have fuel. You have fuel that's going to sit and degrade over time. If it's ethanol fuel, it could potentially even suck in moisture. I've got a video about that on the channel that you might want to check out. So what I recommend is that you treat the fuel and you do that before you put the boat away. You really, you do it anytime you're not going to be running that fuel out for, you know, a month or so. And what I like is the Stable 360. There's a lot of stabilization additives out there. But what I like about the Stable 360 is it's going to prevent the corrosion. It's going to help you with the ethanol as well. Um, and you can measure it out for the amount of fuel that you have in your system. I like to have the fuel filled up. The other option is you want to have your fuel as empty as possible. Try not to leave it in that halfway range. You'll see people that have opinions one way or another, but the, the concept is either be full or be as close to empty, and then you want to treat it. Now, when you treat your fuel with stable or any of this type of treatment, you want to make sure that you pour it in and then it gets sloshed around and mixed around. So if possible, take the boat out and run it for 15, 20 minutes so it gets all mixed around and it also, that treatment gets through all of the fuel system, including through the engine. What you don't want to do is just dump it in and say, I treated my fuel, I'm done. You've got to make sure that you get it sloshed around, whether that's shaking it on the trailer a little bit, and then you have to run it for at least 15, 20 minutes, depending on uh, the size of your fuel system and how long it's going to take that additive to get mixed through the fuel and then run through the fuel lines into the entire system. Now, if you've got a carbureted outboard, you'll also, you want to use the fogging oil and to spray that. Now, the fogging oil is going to kill your motor. So you want to make sure that you've treated the fuel beforehand, mixed it all through the system, done all the other work that you want to do. And the last step is going to be using your fogging oil to lubricate all the internal components of your carburetor. The last thing that you want to think about is what are you going to do with the battery and all the gear in the boat? My recommendation is disconnect the battery. If it's in a really cold climate, get that battery inside, set it up on a block somewhere where it's not sitting on cold cement. And as far as gear, my recommendation is pull anything out that can be mold or mildew or being attracted to some of those rodents that may want to make their home in your boat over the uh, cold winter months. So do all of that work, use your treatment, treat that fuel, treat your batteries, and then the great thing about it is if you do want to run your boat for the Christmas parade or there's a, a nice day uh, in December or January, hey, put the boat in the water, run it. You've already got your fuel treated. Throw the safety gear back in that you need and any foul weather gear that you need for the cold weather and the cold water. And then when you get done, all you got to do is drain that water out of the system again. Remember, tilt it up, tilt it down tilt it up, tilt it down. That usually is going to work for every outboard, but make sure you check your owner's manual to make sure there's no extra steps that you'll want to do. Thanks a lot. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.